Good morning, ladies. It's Mr. O'Sullivan. Today we're going to be doing our study of solving equations. This is going to be our first day of solving equations. We're going to be doing solving equations today, Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday. Tomorrow is it? Friday is a makeup day. Monday you have off. Now on Tuesday we're going to study them again, just so we can make sure that we are solving equations, wizards or witches. Okay, so to solve equations, our learning target today is I can solve an equation by using the PCVNA technique. To solve an equation, we are going to be using the following device, PCVNA. Step one is the parentheses. What we want to do is make sure that we can get rid of our parentheses by distributing. So for instance, if I have 3x plus 2, I can distribute that to be 3 times x, which is 3x, and 3 times 2, which is a positive 6. That's what we mean by get rid of your parentheses by distributing. Step 2, combine your like terms, one side at a time. So for instance, x's with x's, numbers with numbers. Part 3, variable, get your x's or your y's or your q's, any variable to the left-hand side of your equal. Number 4, numbers to the right-hand side. So basically things that don't have an x or a variable attached to it, you're going to move to the right-hand side of your equal. And last but not least, we have the a. You would think a stands for answer, but no, a stands for get rid of the number attached to your x by dividing. Good. So that's our procedure we're going to be using. Make sure you live it, you love it, you laugh it, tattoo it, whatever you need. So we are going to first do level one questions. Level one questions are one step equations. So we typically start out with the equation and it's only gonna be one step. That's not how it is 99% of the time, but for today, it'll be 33% of the time. So we have x plus seven equals 37. So here's what I need us to say to ourselves. We know that we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The way we get rid of addition is to subtract it, and the way to get rid of subtraction is to add it. The way to get rid of multiplication is to divide it, and the way to get rid of division is to multiply it. So here's what we want to do. We want to get x by itself. So we have to go through the procedure and say to ourselves, do we have parentheses? No, we don't, so we go on to step two. Can I combine my x and my seven? Can I combine these? No, I can't because they're not like terms. Part three says, move your variable to the left-hand side of your equal. Well, my x is already over here. Number four, get your numbers to the right-hand side of your equal. So I want to get rid of this positive seven. So to get rid of this positive seven, I'm going to subtract seven from both sides. My sevens cancel, and I get x equals 30, because 37 minus seven is 30. Now I have 3x equals 9. So I don't see any operation, I don't see an addition, I don't see a subtraction, but I do see a multiplication because my 3 is attached to my x. So this is a sign of multiplication. We said before that the way to get rid of multiplication is to do some division. So to get rid of a multiplied by 3, we're going to divide by 3. Divide by 3. My 3's cancel, so I get x equals 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now let's go on to our next example. I have to ask myself, how do I get rid of a minus 5? Well, to get rid of a minus 5, you simply add 5. So add 5, add 5, and I get x equals 17, because 12 plus 5 is 17. Those are our one-step equations. Let's go on to two-step equations. Two-step equations. <clears throat> two-step equations. Here's what we're going to do again. Parentheses. Can I get rid of my parentheses? There are no parentheses. Can I combine my 7m and my 17? No. So PCVNA, so PCVNA. Parentheses done. Combined like terms done. Are all of my variables on the left hand side? Yep, my 7m is. Are my numbers on the right hand side? No, not all of them. I have a minus 17. How do I get rid of a minus 17? I add 17 add 17. So I get 7m equals 77. Now all of my numbers are on the right hand side. Final step, get rid of your number attached to your m by dividing. So how do I get rid of this multiply by 7? I divide by 7 and I divide by 7. So I get 
m equals 11. Now let's go on to our next example. I'm going to write out PCVNA. You know me, PCVNA. I have to ask myself, do I have parentheses? Nope, no parentheses, so I'm done. Can I combine my 7 and my 3x? Nope. So I go on to the next step. Are all my variables on the left-hand side of my equals? Yep. My 3x is over here. There's no 3x anywhere else. Are my numbers, hey, hey they don't have an x, on the right-hand side? No, I still have a 7 over here. So I have to say to myself, how do I get rid of a 7? I subtract 7. I subtract 7. Cancel. So I get 3x equals 33. So all my numbers are on the right-hand side. Now I have to say to myself, how do I get rid of a multiply by 3? Because that's my final step. I always get rid of my attached x by dividing. So I'm going to divide by 3, divide by 3, and I get x equals 11. That's your final answer. Now for 12 plus 5y equals 27. Try to do this one by yourself. So when doing this example, you should subtract your 12 first. And when you subtract your 12, your 12s are going to cancel, and then you get 27 minus 12. 27 minus 12 is 15. I now have a 5y that I'm multiplying, so I need to get rid of my multiplication by dividing. So I divide both sides by 5. My 5s are going to cancel. So I get y equals 3. That's your final answer. Now this one, try to do this one as well by yourself. So I'm going to subtract 8. So well, first PCVNA, so PCVNA. Do I have parentheses? Nope. Can I combine my 8 and my 6x? Nope. Are all my x's on the left-hand side? Yep. Did I move my numbers to the right-hand side? Nope. So I have to ask myself, how do I get rid of that positive 8? I subtract 8 from both sides. So my 8s are going to cancel. So I get 6x equals negative 4 plus a negative 8 or negative 4 minus 8. Negative 4 plus a negative 8 is negative 12. And then I get rid of this 6 by dividing. So I get x equals negative 2. And that's your final answer. Now we're going to go to our level 3 questions. Our level 3 questions are where x is on both sides of the equal sign. So again, I promise you this is very doable. We just have to be very, very cautious. So the first step we do is always write PCVNA. So I have to ask myself, do I have parentheses? No, I don't. So now I go on to my next part. Combine like terms. Can I combine a 10x and a 9? No. Can I combine a 9x minus 1? No. So I'm done with my combining like term stage. Now I have to ask myself, are all of my x's on the left-hand side? No, they aren't. I still have a 9x here that I want to bring over here to the left-hand side of my equal. <clears throat> so I have to ask myself, how do I get rid of a positive 9x? You guessed it. I subtract. Subtract, subtract. My 9x is canceled. 10x minus 9x is 1x. So I'm just going to write x plus 9 equals negative 1. My variables are all on the left-hand side, and this just turned from a two-step equation to a one-step equation. So how do I get rid of a positive 9? Because I want to get all my numbers to the right-hand side. You got it! I subtract 9. Subtract, subtract, and I get x equals negative 1 plus a negative 9 is negative 10. Final answer, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now let's do this one. PCVNA. I have to ask myself, are there parentheses? Nope, don't see them. Can I combine? Well, can I combine a negative 6x and a 2? Nope. Can I combine a negative 5x and a 5? Nope. 
So I need to cross that out now. So now I have to ask myself, are my variables on the left-hand side? Well, if you inspect the right side of your equal, I still have a negative 5x. How do I get rid of a negative 5x? I add 5x to both sides. Cancel. What's negative 6x plus 5x? It's negative 1x. And then I have my plus 2 equals 5. Now I have to ask myself. All my variables are on the left. Now I need to get my numbers on the right, so I need to get this positive 2 to the right-hand side. How do I get rid of it? You got it. I subtract 2. Subtract 2. And I get negative 1x equals 5 minus 2 is a positive 3. Now I have a negative 1x equals a positive 3. I need to ask myself, get rid of that attached number by dividing, so I'm going to divide both sides by a negative 1. Divide, divide. What's 3 divided by a negative 1? You got it. x equals negative 3. That's it. Now, try to do this one by yourself. Okay, so for this example, I asked myself if I had parentheses. I don't, so I'm done with that level. I uh, asked myself, can I combine? I can't combine a 1x and a 5, and I can't combine a 5x and a 25, so I go on to the next step. Are all my variables on the left-hand side? Nope. So I had to subtract a 5x from both sides of my equal, and I ended up getting negative 4x plus 5 equals 25 because my 5x is canceled. Now I have to ask myself, how do I get rid of that positive 5? I subtracted 5 because I need to move my numbers to the right-hand side, so my 5s cancel. And now I'm left with negative 4x equals 20. I get rid of it by dividing by a negative 4. So I get x equals negative 5. And that's your final answer. Now let's do this one together. So I have PCV and A. Do I have parentheses? Nope. Can I combine anything? Nope. Can't combine a negative 8x and a 3 and can't combine a negative 6x and an 11. I have to ask myself, are all my variables on the right left-hand side? No, I have a negative 6x on the right-hand side of my equal. So I need to find a way to move this negative 6x to be over here with my negative 8x. To get rid of that negative 6x, I'm going to add 6x, add 6x, cancel. So I get negative 8x plus 6x, which is negative 2x plus 3 equals 11. Now I need to get the numbers on the right-hand side. I have a positive 3. How do I get rid of it? Subtract 3. So I get negative 2x equals 8. And now I get rid of it by dividing by a negative 2. So x equals negative 4. That's your final answer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email myself or Ms. Townsend or Ms. Jimenez. Again, as always, if you're ever stuck, just rewatch the video. Have a great day.